You know, I always had a major fear of missing out, like an insane fear of missing out. But I can lie to you, it was actually kind of beneficial to me. Because due to the fact that I had this fear of missing out, that I did not want to be left behind, I actually started to develop an early habit of going to the gym. I went to the gym first time when I was 13 years old. Or actually I did like push-ups at home and calisthenics and stuff. And what I realized at that moment was that I can actually defeat that. It is actually possible to defeat fear of missing out and the fear of falling behind. And there's only one single solution to that. And that is to just grind fucking brutally. It's doing the hard work that nobody does. It's going that extra mile and doing that extra set in the gym. Because I can't lie to you, nowadays it's not even special to go to the gym, which puts even more pressure into you. And it's the same for me, bro. I see all these people going to the gym and they are the same people that smoke and drink and party and do the general stuff the night after. And then I see them doing more weight than I do, bro, I get fucking pissed off because I do all the things. I sometimes track, I sometimes track my calories. I go to bed early. I work hard. I work hard on my business. And still, these people who drink, who smoke, who do all these bad habits but go to the gym, they can lift more weight than I do. And that's fucking depressing feeling. However, I realized that by doing what nobody does, you actually defeat this shit completely now the thing is that it's a it's a daily fight it's you against you each day because the feeling of feeling left behind never ever it never ever despawns it's always there and i i feel this shit when i am sick and i can't train when i'm sick and i can't train and i can't be productive i can't do business work this is when i feel this shit because then it gets me. I see all these Instagram stories of people being in the gym, working hard. And then there's me lying in bed around, not getting any stronger. Holy shit, I hate this feeling. Like genuinely, I can't stand it to be sick. Not at all. Even if that means I, I don't go to school, I hate this shit. Bro, I would rather go to school 10 hours per day and then go to the gym than just lie around in bed all day long. This is how how insane my fear of missing out and my fear of falling behind is and i i i'm this person who thinks yeah i am definitely behind definitely and through the years of grinding i realized something my worst day my zero out of ten day is a day where i still exercise it's a day where where i have at least two clean meals it's a day where I read at least, I don't know, five to 10 pages. It's a day where I let at least meditate three to five minutes. That's a bad day. Then I realized, damn, bro, my worst, my zero out of 10 worst day is still the best day of someone out there. It's still the best day of this dude that goes to the gym, but then parties and drinks and smokes and all that stuff. That's my worst day. And then I actually thought to myself, Bro, getting into the 90% of men, it's fucking easy. 90% of men, you, you just have to basically live, you have to sleep, you have to eat clean, you have to be, just be in shape and don't be a fucking asshole, don't be stupid. Maybe read one book. <laughs> Actually, that's what it takes. It's just reading one book and lifting, being in great shape, doing martial arts, something like that. And this is how you get in, into the top 10% of men. But from there on, the next 10% you have to climb up, bro, that's brutal. Because these guys up there, holy shit, they, they, these are the guys keeping all the hot chicks. They're all the high quality women. These are the guys making fucking 10K a month. And I'm not in the top 10% or in, actually in the top 1% myself. I'm obviously not in that. But I can say getting into the top 10% is fucking easy. Getting into the top 1% is brutal. It's insane how much dedication and discipline and motivation you need to, to do that. So if you feel you are just falling behind, let me tell you, bro, let me tell you. By just going to the gym, just exercising, then eating clean, eating unprocessed healthy food, and having a sleep schedule, maybe reading 
10 pages per day. That in itself is enough to get into the top 1%, uh, into the top 10%, sorry. That alone is enough. So many guys in this modern age are distracted. They watch TikTok and short form content. And bro, bro, by the way, if you don't have TikTok, <laughs> I mean, everybody has fucking TikTok. That's a sign of a top 10% male. If you don't have TikTok, you're in a, you're pretty good, bro. You're pretty good. I see all these fucking dudes with a monkey brain. They degenerate their entire brain by watching TikTok and Instagram reels or YouTube shorts all day long by not doing meditation. I mean, even three minutes of meditation is enough. But you get what I mean. You're actually not falling behind. Even if you see all these Instagram stories of people having so much fun in their fucking lives, of people not feeling sad, not feeling lonely at all. That's not fucking true. And I have to battle with this myself. I'm making this video partly to myself because sometimes I also feel like I'm f falling. I'm f I feel like I'm being left behind because I see all these other motherfuckers having so much fun in their lives. And then there's me just going to the gym, working on my business, but being sometimes so lonely. Like right now, I just went on a walk, nothing to do today. I mean, I'm so grateful that I can live, that I am actually able to go on a walk, but still. Yeah, I think that's a constant battle. I don't know, bro. I actually don't know, but that's just what I think. It's a constant battle. It's you against you. And each single day, you have to fight yourself. You have to get over this. You have to train again and again and again. And you have to do these good habits. You have to step into that ice cold shower. You have to go to the, into that cold approach. And the good thing is that we can actually use that. Like I did. I had fucking fear of missing out. Even as a, as a little kid. Which is why I started to do push-ups. I started to train abs. I started to learn how to do a pull-up. I started to read my first ever book. I think my first actual ever self-improvement book that I read was The 48 Laws of Power. Then The 33 Strategies of War. And then some. And then I think it was Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, which I actually, I'm being honest, I, I actually never finished that book. It's, it's a good book, though. It's a great book. But yeah. So... On social media, you see all the people so happy and stuff, but again, I don't know this. David Goggins said it, that people don't show their lonely side. They only show the great things on social media. And the only thing they did better than you is they, they, they were able to hide it from the majority, from society, better than you. But if you have the feeling you're falling behind again only thing that cures this at least for me fucking grind fucking working out reading books developing yourself becoming a high value man getting closer to the lord jesus i just want to make this video because in the past days i was sick i had yeah i had few conflicts and this hit me i just got this feeling even today that i that I'm feeling falling behind. But I always have to remind myself, yeah, bro, just go and work, just go and record a video, work on your business, go and exercise, go and read a book. And while you do this, there's some lazy motherfucker out there jacking off, drinking, smoking, being degenerate, being lazy as fuck. Skipping the gym, skipping the, wor skipping the workout. And you, who put all this work each and every day into place, I think that's the best thing you can do. If, you are, if you're insecure about yourself, if you are the same like me. <sighs> that was the video. I hope it was valuable. Lesson, just go and work more, go and grind more. I think... People are not that happy how they how they talk, how they say they are, but that's it. So, do not pay for easy lives. Pray to be stronger men and stay hard.